Welcome to Anthology Training. Today we're going to talk about cash register end-of-day procedures. There are two videos for end-of-day procedures. The first one, part one, is about closing the drawers. And the second one, part two, is about maintenance procedures. Today we're going to talk about part one, closing the drawers. There are three simple steps for closing the drawers. Step number one is to balance each drawer. Step number two is to run a tape for all drawers. Step number three is to clear the sales. That's it. Let's take a look at that in greater detail. Step number one, balance each drawer. Before you balance a drawer, you might want to take care of a few items. Begin by voiding any sales that need to be voided. Now hopefully you did that during the sales day, but if you didn't, please do it now. You also want to cancel all suspended sales. Remember, Anthology is not programmed to carry suspended sales into the next day. Let's take a look at the preparation in Anthology together. The first one we talked about is avoiding a sale. To avoid a sale, you want to go to the Sales menu and select the last option, Void a Sale. When you do that, Anthology displays all the transactions that are available for voiding. Select the transaction you would like to void Make sure the black tick mark is in front of it. And then select F12 Select. Anthology displays a transaction to you to make sure that's a transaction that you wish to void. Once you've looked at it, you can press Escape to close it or click on the red X. Now that you've seen it, Anthology is going to ask you if you want to void this sale. Say yes. The receipt printer will print and the cash drawer will pop. Continue to void all the sales that you need to void. When you're done, click on F9 Cancel. Next, you want to clear on any suspended sales. To know if you need to clear on any suspended sales, look to your F12 Resume Sale button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. If it's black, then you know that you have suspended sales you need to cancel. Let's go ahead and do that now. When I select the F12 Resume Sale button, the suspended sales are displayed on the screen for me to select. Click on it and make sure the black tick mark is in front of it. Go ahead and select F12 Select to bring the transaction back to the cash register. Next, you're going to click on F9 Cancel Sale. Do you want to cancel this sale? Yes. When the screen clears, then Anthology has canceled the sale for you. Continue doing that until all the suspended sales have been canceled. Notice how the F12 Resume Sale button is now gray. Let's go back to step one, balancing the drawer, because we're ready now. To balance a drawer, we're going to use the X tape. The X tape is designed to balance an individual drawer. You want to run it for each drawer, and you can do that from any station. To run the X tape, go to the Sales menu and select X tape. Click on F12 to run the tape, and then print it to the receipt printer. Let's take a look at the X tape screen together. Notice how there is a user's drop down box and a station drop-down box, a print itemized tender recap checkbox, the user drop-down box. You can select your username to balance your drawer if you've logged into Anthology and you've stayed at one station throughout your time there. To run it by user, click on the down arrow and select your name. If you have more than one point of sale station, you want to select your station. You're going to click on the down arrow and then select the appropriate station. You're going to want to run an X tape for each individual one and then check to see that those drawers balance. Remember, it does not matter where you print it from. Anthology will print it from any place within the store. Just select your individual station and print it out. Beginners get confused when they select the drop down and they notice that not all the stations that are in the store are being displayed in the drop down menu. Remember that if you don't have sales at a station, it will not display in the drop-down menu. That's perfectly normal. The Print Itemized Tender Recap is going to print out the tenders listed by transaction. This can be very helpful if you're having trouble balancing. If you're not having trouble balancing, however, you might consider not selecting it as it will print out long tapes. If you have PC Charge, there's an additional step you're going to want to take. You want to run your X tape for all drawers, then run the appropriate PC charge report, and compare the two and make sure that they balance. If they don't, you want to correct whatever issues are going on before you move on to the next step. Let's take a look at that in Anthology together. To run the X tape, we're going to go to the Sales menu and select X tape. 
Remember that if you've logged into Anthology and you've stayed at one station during the day, you can go ahead and select your username. If you have multiple drawers, you want to go ahead and select your drawer to balance it. Now it's going to print out all the cash register transactions for Station 1. If I want, I can come back and run it for Station 2. It does not matter where I'm located at when I print this out. I'll click on F12 Run and then check my drawer. Remember, if I'm having trouble balancing, I can select Print Itemized Tender Recap. Click on F12 Run. Let's take a look at it together. Notice how it's printing out the bankable tenders up at the top. And then down here, because we've asked it to do itemized tender recap, it's showing us all the tenders by transaction listed out. And now you can cross-check it with your drawer. This can be very helpful for balancing. Once you're done, you're ready to go on to the next step. Step number two, run a tape for all drawers. To do that, you'll want to run your Z-tape. It's a summary of all drawers on one tape. It's what the bookkeeper or accountant needs to do the accounting. To run the Z-tape, select Z-tape from the Sales menu, click on F12 to run the tape, and then print it to the receipt printer. Let's take a look at the screen together. Notice that it has day by day over on the right-hand side. If it's black and available, it means that you have more than one day's worth of transactions in the cash drawers. If you'd like to run a separate Z-tape for each day, you can select it. If you don't need to, you can leave it unchecked, and then it runs a smaller Z-tape. If you have only one station, you may want to run the Z-tape rather than the X-tape, and if you're having trouble balancing the drawer, you can select Print Itemized Tender Recap. You'd want to click on F12 Run to go ahead and run the Z-tape. Before we show you that in Anthology, let's talk about a common problem that beginners run into. They go to run the Z-tape and they get this message. Exclusive use of the files is not available. Someone must be using Anthology. Please have them exit and retry. The Z-tape is exclusive use, which means no one else can be in Anthology. If somebody is, please ask them to exit the software. Remember that you also must exit the software. If the cash register is open, you must close it, and any other screens that might be open on your computer. You need to be at the main menu to be able to open the Z-tape and run it. Once you run the Z-tape, you're going to get the option to clear the sales. Now let's take a look at some of that together. Here we are in the cash register. If we go to Sales, and then select Z-tape, remember the message we're going to get. This is all about the cash register being open, but it could be about anything else that might be open. Receiving, purchase orders, all of that must be closed. Now with the cash register closed, we can go ahead and go into the Z-tape. Remember, if day by day is black and available, we have more than one day's worth of transactions. If we need to see it printed out on separate Z-tapes, we can select it but it's going to create a long tape. If we don't need that, we don't have to select it. We can also use Print Itemized Tender Recap if we're having any problems balancing. We can click on F12 Run and select any one of these three options. But know that you need to select Report to Printer and print it to get the option to clear sales. That's very important, so I hope you heard that. You need to select Report to Printer and print to get the option to clear sales. Once it's printed out, you get the option to clear these sales. Select Yes. Once you select Yes, your sales are moved from the cash drawers into sales history. So clearing the sales will zero out all your cash drawers. Bring them back to zero so you're ready for the next day's sales. It's going to take those cash register sales and send them to sales history so that you can run sales history reports. Remember that once you clear the sales, you will no longer be able to add to the Z-tape or avoid any individual transaction. So the simple steps for closing. Step 1, balance each drawer. Step 2, run a tape for all drawers. And step 3, clear your sales. Once you've done that, you're ready to go on to maintenance. If you want to find more information about the X and Z-tape, you can find it in the help system. You can begin by going to using Visual Anthology and then selecting the Sales menu. And then last but not least, X and Z-Tape. And that concludes the Cash Register End-of-Day Procedures 
Part 1, Closing the Drawers. Thank you for joining me in Anthology Training.